Hello Steelers and welcome to this review of these Hockmeister Battlefleet set for Dystopian Wars. I was sent this by the guys over at On The Tabletop uh, so I thought I'd have a look at these and show you what they're all about. Uh, it's part of their, as we say, what's it? War, they're from War Cradle Studio and as I said they're part of Dystopian Wars which you can find more about the game dystopianwars.co.uk uh, a fantasy naval game as you can see here these are these large robots that are pushing their way through water. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show you what's in the box we'll have a look at that and then I will also uh, I'll build a couple of these as well so you can see how they look when they're built and uh, I can also then explain to you how easy or how difficult they are to actually build. Uh, this is not my usual stuff as you know if you watch this I do a lot more historical stuff but uh, as I say I thought I'd do a, a review of this because there may be somebody out there watching the channel who is probably into this kind of thing so if that's you then this is for you so uh, strap yourself in and we'll have a closer look at the box and the figures. Okay, so as you can see here, this here's the box art. Uh, it's quite nice, very fantasy uh, orientated. You've got these uh, <coughs> creature monster things or whatever they are, the uh, the Hockmeisters themselves coming out of the ground with various weapons. Uh, let's just have a quick look around the rest of the box itself. So it says here it's about part of the dystopian age uh, from War Cradle Studios, as we said, and. I think that must be uh, either a number or something, factory number, uh, just a little bit more there. And then also on the back we've got the different kinds of units as well. So we've got, it says here, use with the Imperium, which I assume is one of the factions in uh, Dystopian Wars. It looks like there's quite a number of them, probably eight perhaps. And it says you've also got three of these uh, robots, these Hockmeisters, uh, with alternative unit options here. Let's have a look. It says the box contains three Hockmeister Vituvian Colossus. It can also be built as a Metzger Vituvian Colossus. Let's try saying that when you're sober. And then obviously it says that these plastic models come unpainted and uh, unassembled. So they may be uh, maybe different slightly to the uh, to the images as well. Right, well, let's have a look at the box. First of all, first thing that struck me uh, when I got this was that it is actually incredibly nicely packaged, if nothing else. So we slide out the outer sleeve, and then we're faced with this actually nice little brown box here uh, that holds the the figures themselves. And that's quite nice. You could probably use that as storage, I guess. Depends how big these things are. Uh, but there you go. That's a uh, nice inlaid silver. Uh, symbol on there. I'm assuming that's that's the Dystopian Wars symbol itself. And then we've got the figures themselves. So, well, we've actually got four bases. It said three on there, so I wonder if there is four in here. So let's have a look. So we've got uh, four bases there. And these are also um, water bases as well, so they should be quite easy to paint up actually as uh, as water. We'll give that a go. Let's have a look. We've got one. Two. Oh no, there we go, we've got three sprues uh, full of material, so it looks like there's, they've got four bases but only three figures in there, I guess, I'm guessing. Uh, what I do notice, there are no instructions. I haven't checked the website, but I would assume there's possibly instructions there on the website. Uh, there does look like a, there's quite a lot of parts on these, so they may be relatively complex to put together if it's not your kind of thing. I do like building models myself, so I'm going to give these a go and see how <laughs> how well I go with them. Uh, I can't really tell if there is if there's more than one. Uh, on each of these. It doesn't look like it. I think that's a front and that's a back there. We've got like chest plates and other bits and pieces here to put together. I'll have a search about and see if I can find some instructions online and I will put uh, at least one or two of these together and go from there. So we'll have a look at those when they're built. So here's the uh, one that I've built. This is a Vitruvian class uh, vehicle. I suppose it's got, uh, got a big old sword there you can see and a couple of weapons on top there. I used a couple of different of the uh, the different versions of the helmets and things to use this. Uh, you can see let's just have a look at it all the way around. I haven't painted this I just haven't had a chance to to be honest I wanted to get this review uh, put together pretty quickly but I can imagine this being quite a, an easy uh, paint job. 
I think what I would suggest is uh, priming it possibly before you start to put it together like I have because there's quite a few bits and pieces you can see. A little bit difficult to get into uh, after you've put them together so I would I would suggest you probably either prime it or maybe do quite a lot of the, the painting itself before you start building it. Let's just have a quick look at how high it is. Uh, so that's well, that's about, I'm saying probably six centimetres I think, thereabouts, uh, from base to head, from the top of the head, probably five and a half, six centimetres or, uh, or just over two inches, uh, but that's the uh, ruler there you can see, so just give you the, uh, the, the actual size of the thing. The base itself is, let's have a look, it is a five centimetre square base. So you get three of those in the pack. Uh, I'm a relatively experienced model maker. This took me about an hour to put together, thereabouts, give or take. I would assume uh, if I was building the rest of them it would probably speed up because obviously you're getting used to the parts and things. So I'd probably say, oh, all in all, you're probably about three hours worth of work to put these together for all three of these uh, in the various different uh, guises of them. A couple of there, there is actually instructions on online. I found the instructions online, so you can. Uh, they're they're very clear. Uh, they're very very concise, very nice, uh, very clear pictures. But I would first of all, I suggest dry fitting them before you put them together at all, because uh, there's a couple of places where it's probably not as intuitive as you would hope for. Uh, for the actual construction, but I would yeah just dry dry fit them before you put anything together with these. There's a couple of uh, I had a couple of issues just with like the 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 plate that the head is sat on here. I didn't realise it go it slides in rather than sitting on top of the uh, uh, in, on top of this this ridge here. Uh, so there's a couple of little bits and pieces like that that just uh, stood out. I also noticed there was a couple of uh, numbers on the uh, instructions were incorrect. Uh, as to which parts they actually were in the the kit itself as well. So just a couple of things to look out for there. I mean, you know, they're not they're not deal breakers by any uh, any stretch of the imagination. Uh, this is just stuff. And once you've built one of them, the rest of them should go to either pre go together pretty easily. Uh, I would assume these are probably relatively easy to paint as well, being quite large vehicles. They'll be good fun to paint. Uh, I did say, you know, this is not really my thing, but it might be somebody out there in the audience's thing. And if this is your thing, large robots striding through water, then <laughs> this is for you. Uh, I'll leave it at that. You've seen them. You've seen what's in the box. You've uh, you've seen the built a built version of it. Uh, I shall leave it at that for this review. If you enjoy it, uh, please say so in the comments below. Give me a like, uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't as well to the rest of the channel, and I will also see you in the next review video.